<laughs> joins us now. Good morning. So lovely to have you here. Oh. It just looks incredible. I mean, just what even just watching that clip, it just feels yeah. feel good. Tell us a little bit about the plot of this film. Well, Tony Towers. One of the big, <laughs> one of the big you faces. Just fall into character. You character. <laughs> I, I can't oh, help Tony it. Towers. Tony Towers, one of the big faces on the East Club, uh, East Midlands nightclub scene of the 80s, mm -hmm. um, finds himself on the train Christmas Eve, going back to Nottingham for the Christmas holidays, um, and discovers at a certain point that if he moves forward a carriage, he moves forward 10 years in his life. Right. Back a carriage, moves back 10 years. So he starts to change things, and so his life suddenly starts to split up into all different potential timelines, and right, he's trying to okay. put things right, and he's messing things up. Because the temptation is, if you could go back in time, would you change something? Oh, and if yes. you did, how would that affect the Butterfly effect. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Interesting. Oh, and uh, I guess the joy for an actor is you've got lots of different costumes, yeah. lots of different characters to bounce off. Uh, it must be so much fun. And it's a festive Christmas movie mm. as well. Yeah. Mm. I've never done a Christmas film. I've always wanted to... I mean, if I wasn't feeling Christmassy before today, I am now. Well, we've I'm got surprised 21 I found trees. You. 21 trees in 21 here. trees. I was going to say, I almost got lost on the way in through the trees. But <laughs> Michael, I, there's one on wheels you can take if you yeah. want. Yeah, no, that's mine. That <laughs> Getting good. to do a Christmas film was just amazing. I love Christmas, I love time travel, and I love trains. So this is like a bucket list tick. Done it all in this one, yeah. Yeah, Absolutely yeah. amazing. And, and so this film, like you say, it goes through different, you know, different decades and different periods of time. And it's actually shot like telly or film at yeah. that time. So each of the each of the periods that we see Tony in, whether it's from the it, start, it goes from the forties all the way up to two thousand and fifteen, we we bounce around it. But each period looks like something that was filmed at that time. So wow. the nineteen forties looks like oh, the old hang black on and white. Look, Tell at that. Him. Look at that! Smash it nicely. Yes, that's eighties <laughs> radio DJ version of yeah. Tony. I have a very small pair of white shorts on in that. Fabulous. So that's something for the holiday. <laughs> oh, a couple of octaves? Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's interesting, is it, how, how we go through... We, we're, we love nostalgia. Mm. We love reminiscing. We love going back and saying, oh, remember this, remember yeah, that, you yeah. know? Like, the 90s to us... Mm. Maybe not you. But the 90s to us <laughs> were like the 60s to our parents. Yeah, exactly, you yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, I got... Uh, the, like I say, the Tony starts in the 80s, 85, he starts in this. So to go back to the 80s... Mm -hmm. I mean, I, that was my teenage years, mm, you know, in the 80s. Mm. So to go back to that and look at the Walkmans again, all the little oh, trivia wow. things, you know, the, the yeah. little background things. Uh, now that's what I call music. The first one <laughs> yeah. came out. Not like 1,000, whatever, yeah, whatever exactly. edition yeah. we're yeah. on yeah. Yeah. The pig on the, It had a pig on the cover, remember? It did. With that's headphones right. on. Yeah. Um, and and as, as it progresses, do we, do we get to look back through some of the stories that occurred in those decades? Or is it just about Tony's journey? You see little details, like oh. alternative prime ministers and things like that, just on newspaper headlines. Uh, and okay. So there's little, little things there Settle to catch. Hey, yeah, hang yeah. on a minute. If, if he goes into the 90s carriage, is there a picture of you on a paper plane, Tony Blow? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't want to give anything away. Right, okay. right. well, you never know. Okay, you never know. Okay. Yeah. What yeah. do you think your favourite era was to film? Well, I, I did like going back to the 80s. Mm -hmm. That was great fun. And Natalie Emmanuel, who plays uh, Sue... Oh, she's it. brilliant, isn't she? I mean, she was born to be in the 80s. She said, you know, she wasn't really alive then, mm -hmm. but uh, to, but she has the whole Whitney Houston thing. Oh. She looks amazing. So that was great. I love doing the 80s stuff. The 70s, in my own life, I mean, I was a little kid then, it's just like a weird brown and orange haze. <laughs> but to actually get to do it on the train brown carriage was fantastic. Isn't well. it funny when you look at telly from the 70s, how dark it was? I know. Yeah. Like, and also, what, what you notice as well is um, the further back you go, the longer, like, there were more pauses and things took a lot longer in film and TV. So we've sort of incorporated that a little bit as well, <laughs> that, like, rhythm has, has speeded up so much now. Interesting. Yeah, so the way things are cut are much Because everything's instantaneous now, isn't it? Because oh, yeah. of the digital world yeah. we live in, we've yeah. got information now, we want exactly. it quick yeah. and fast in the palm of our hands. Yeah. yeah. Come on, why is it... Why is the Wi-Fi not working? It's too late. <laughs> it's the Wi-Fi password. Yeah. I've been here five minutes, I've not got it. Yeah, uh, we're uh, so like that. Exactly. Right. And you said earlier on uh, that you've watched it back mm. and you very rarely watch back yeah. stuff that yeah. you've done. And, you, and, and it brought you to tears. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm, I'm, it, yeah, it was good, not because it was bad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when I watch stuff that I've been in, you know, to begin with, you, you just get a bit distracted. Oh, God, is my nose that big, really? And all that kind of oh, stuff, you know. Or what was going on that day. And it's hard to get lost in it. But I watched this a couple of weeks ago and I just really enjoyed it. And you by the end, I was it. like tears running down my face and everything. It was a beautiful film, and I feel really proud of... My, my, one of my best friends wrote and directed it, so mm -hmm. to get to work with him,
with him every day as oh, well. Just was, was fantastic. fantastic. And well, your partner Anna is in the film. <laughs> Anna too. Yeah. How is yeah. that working together? Brilliant. So she's uh, Anna is Swedish and she plays a Swedish character in it. Mm -hmm. Astrid, there she is. Um, and she she's very funny in it. Oh, I'm very yeah, jealous the, of there. The, these you know, her styles. Yeah, it's very Abba. I was like me on yeah. T4. <laughs> it's very, it's <laughs> very like um, Farrah Fawcett, that hair, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Britt Eklund, Rod mm, Stewart was mm, what we were sort of going for, yeah, although yeah. I just looked like a womble, really. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know we can't go into it, but you did say you got emotional at the end, so there is mm. a twist. Is there a twist? Yeah, yeah. Well, like I say, we, got, we see a whole man's life, really. You know, we end up going through his life. And to begin with the film, you sort of think, oh, this is going to be, like, you know, really funny, going through the kind of different decades and the different looks. And then it, it slowly starts to take on a bit more kind of meaning, I think. And, mm -hmm. and you get a sense of a whole man's life. And there's a bit of the... I don't want to give anything away. There's a bit at the end where... It, it does really get you. You've got yeah. a little lump in your throat. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, it's Christmas, so yes. you, know, you want to you wanna feel good at Christmas. Well, it is Christmas, and you do have a little one, and mm. um, your partner that we just spoke about, Anna. What, what, are your, what are your plans for Christmas? What does Christmas oh. look like in the Sheen household? Well, Lyra, our little two-year-old, she's... You know, this is the first Christmas that she's kind of really aware of what's going mm. on. So she talks about Santa every day. She wants me to be Santa. I have to call her up. <gasps> on the phone, I go, ho, 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 Merry Christmas, Lyra, and all that kind of stuff. Yes. Um, and so she's very excited. So, of course, you realise this is the year now that we'll start Christmas tradition. Yeah, mm. yeah. When this you talk is about what you do for right. Christmas, this is when it yeah, begins. Yeah. Yes. So the responsibility of that is... Uh, but the fun and the magic, it's just, it's the best time. Oh, it's it yeah, really beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Christmas time. every day. Yes. Wonderful, yeah. yeah. It is the most wonderful time of the year. It really, really is. the words is. of the song. There you nice. go. And uh, when, when, when's the film out? When can we see it? Uh, it starts this Saturday. Awesome. Okay. Yes. Okay. And can you do me a really big favour? Mm. Can you read my link in uh, the style of the famous Nottingham Forest manager? Please. All right. In, into camera one, into oh, Brian Clough go. in this camera one here. One, we're over right, here. Yes. One of the best rolls ever. Still to come, cheese, cheese and more cheese. <laughs> Served in a bread bowl. What could be better? <laughs> Nico Reynolds is here with his delicious fondue. We'll be digging into that right after this break. Hey! <laughs>